Hi, my name is Vigdis, and today I'd like to show you how to correctly use Dual Air. Our primary aim when developing Dual Air was to improve the daily lives of hairdressers whilst blow drying. With a focus on an ergonomic working position, minimising occupational injuries, we arrived at our final design. Today I would like to tell you how my blow dryer differs from others and demonstrate the changes in grip and working position that must be adopted to benefit from Jewel Air's pioneering design. Transitioning to any new technology can be difficult. This film will illustrate some of the common mistakes made by hairdressers when using Jewel Air and how to avoid them. Starting with the startup sound the dryer makes when it's plugged into the socket. This sound indicates that the blow dryer has power. When you pick up the blow dryer, make sure the cord falls on the outside of the arm. Some hairdressers grip the blow dryer's handle too tightly. It is important to make sure your grip is loose and relaxed. Look what happens to the balance of dual air in your hand and forearm muscles when you grip too hard. You have the correct grip when dual air will balance naturally in your hand and you're not using energy in order to hold it. Let it float in your hand. A common mistake whilst blow drying with traditional blow dryers is that hairdressers hold the blow dryer in the wrong way. The blow dryer's body should point in the same direction as your arm, so the fan is always pointing towards your body. This is what a correct grip and good arm position looks like. This blow drying position is unfavourable and may cause muscle and tendon injuries over time. Alternatively, if you use natural arm movements when lifting your blow dryer, you automatically lower your shoulders and avoid twisting at the wrist. This ergonomic working position is the reason why we say that Dual Air eases your every day. Switching airflow direction is easy by running your index finger along the blow dryer's body and letting it slide in towards the button. Your finger will naturally land on the top button, which will change the airflow direction. When you're just drying hair, use the upper outlet. This avoids you having to lift your arm and shoulder. A good tip to remember is to use the upper outlet when soft styling. When you blow dry the top of the head, you must lift the blow dryer. The arm is much stronger in the right angled, natural working position demonstrated here than when the arm is raised at an angle away from the body. Support the blow dryer body with your index and middle finger. Let the ergonomic design help you. Here, it is especially important that you remember to keep a relaxed grip. To create volume in the front, use the upper outlet. Smooth out, create volume and dry from below using the upper outlet. Let the hair fall over the upper outlet to regain the section. Use the lower outlet when you blow dry the top of the hair. The nozzles are angled so you can control the air in the direction that you want. I have worked exhaustively to produce a product that optimises the ergonomics of blow drying. Read the manual and familiarise yourself with Dual Air. If you invest a little time to get accustomed with Dual Air, you will understand how this new way of blow drying will ease your everyday life. 